From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Atlantis will temporarily furlough some employees as COVID-19 cases continue to grow in North America and cancellations increase following U.S. President Joe Biden's announcement of a new quarantine requirement for travelers entering the United States. In a letter to staff, the resort said it will scale operations, noting that beginning February 4th, guest reservations at the Royal will move to the Cove and some colleagues will be placed on temporary furlough. Atlantis' president, Audrey Oswell, said in a letter to staff, quote, Our plan and hope are to invite team members back by the spring season, pending occupancy. As the new year progresses, she said, the overall business outlook of Atlantis is hopeful. However, for the immediate future, she continued, we face similar challenges as we have in the last few months. South and Central Eleuthera MP Hank Johnson broke his silence yesterday to say he expects a man who allegedly attacked him last week to be charged in the magistrate's court with causing harm. Mr. Johnson said he was attacked while leaving a private home in Coral Harbor on January 16th. It was his first public comment on the matter. He said in a statement yesterday that he reported the matter to the airport police station and that officers subsequently arrested the man. Mr. Johnson maintains he's the victim in this situation. Despite being given the approval from environmental health officials, Fusion Superplex officials say they are still uncertain when the complex's cinemas and entertainment facilities will reopen, as they are still awaiting word from the competent authority. Fusion Cinema and Entertainment Facilities have been closed since March 2020 as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Some observers believe this is due to the fact that government fears the facility's confined spaces, together with the large crowds it attracts, will lead to an uptick of new infections. Infections. However, fusion officials have previously said they plan to introduce new protocols at the facility in keeping with the social distancing and COVID-19 health measures once the green light has been given. Yesterday, Fusion's chief marketing officer, Nicolette Eldon, told the Tribune the complex's inability to fully reopen is something that continues to take a financial toll on that company. Taking the COVID-19 vaccine should be a personal choice for teachers, Bahamas Union of Teachers President Belinda Wilson said yesterday. The government has made a down payment for a vaccine to administer to 20% of the population through an arrangement with the Pan American Health Organization. The vaccine should be available in the country by the first quarter of this year. However, there is skepticism from some in the public sector, with the chairman of the Police Staff Association, Sonny Miller, recently saying his members have not yet made a decision about taking the vaccine. Vaccine. Recently, former Minister of Health Dr. Dwayne Sands and Bahamas Nurses Union President Amancha Williams both expressed concern about possible long-term effects of the new vaccines and indicated the government should not be quick to administer doses without first doing a further study on whichever vaccine is chosen. Yesterday, Mrs. Wilson weighed in on the situation. She said, quote, I am cognizant of the fact that teachers are on the front line and were on the front line alongside 48,000 students in the public school system, she said. But the view is that the vaccine should be made available to all Bahamians, but not mandatory. It should be voluntary. Teachers as well as other workers must make the personal choice for themselves and their families as to whether or not they will take this vaccine. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, House Democrats delivered the impeachment case against Donald Trump to the Senate for the start of his historic trial, but Republican senators were easing off their criticism of the former president and shunning calls to convict him over the deadly siege at the U.S. Capitol. It's an early sign of Trump's enduring sway over the party. The nine House prosecutors carried the sole impeachment charge of incitement of insurrection across the Capitol on Monday night in a solemn and ceremonial march to the Senate along the same halls the riotous ran sacked just weeks ago. Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador worked from isolation Monday, a day after announcing that he tested positive for COVID-19 and was absent from his daily news conference for the first time in two years in office. The president, who has rarely been seen wearing a mask, stayed out of sight as his country topped 150,000 deaths, the fourth highest level in the world. He has been criticized for his handling of Mexico's pandemic and for not setting an example of prevention in public. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A high-pressure system centered just east of the islands will support mostly stable conditions with gentle to fresh winds across the country. Beachgoers in the southeast Bahamas should exercise caution due to the high risk of rip currents at east coast beaches. For all areas, it'll be partly to mostly sunny and warm with a slight chance of a few stray showers today, fair and mild tonight. A small craft's caution remains in effect for the southeast Bahamas. Bahamas. Winds southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots in the northwest and central Bahamas and east to southeast at 15 to 20 knots in the southeast Bahamas over open waters. Seas 2 to 4 feet in the northwest and central Bahamas and 4 to 6 feet over the ocean in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 80 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 61. The sun will set this afternoon at 549 and will rise tomorrow morning at 654. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Now on the streets. Or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.